Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today we're doing the top 15 Chanel gifts for $50 or under uh, for the year of 2023 in the holiday season. So guess what? We're going to start with the most expensive. It's kind of, and then we're going to go cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. This has become a tradition on my channel. We've, we've been doing this for several years, but um, it's becoming more and more difficult as the years go by because Chanel keeps upping their prices. So I wonder how many years are we still going to be able to do this video every year once all of their products hit the 51 plus dollar range. You got to add the taxes on top, obviously, if you're in the US at least. So, but let's see. Interesting how obviously, uh, you know, Chanel loves to charge $10,000 and upwards for their bags, but then they need the aspirational client, polite word of saying poor, to purchase also the cosmetics, right? And the stuff that's cheap, they love to say affordable. They never say cheap, but we say cheap. We keep it real. Cheap products for the aspirational poverty. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Day Cabal spilled together there as well for extra perks. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week. Come join us. And everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. Bubbles hit it with the first one. This is the most expensive product. Uh, it was not $50 in the past. Now, it, it is now. Now, just to be also very clear, I'm showing you the products that I personally love and use myself. I'm not just like compiling some rando list and telling you here, buy this, whatever that, you know, like, let's just find the right price. No, I actually uh, use it. Uh, proof is in the pudding. Here it is. And I actually chose for you Malice, which is my favorite shade. And uh, I use Malice and I actually have it on today for this video. So this is a blush and it is $50. This is uh, the most expensive, right? Because we're going to go cheaper and cheaper and cheaper the more we progress through this list. And it is scented of roses. It has a beautiful, beautiful scent. I love to sniff on these blushes. Um, they have several colorways, so you can choose a different color if you're not into this particular shade of pink. They also have like a gold shimmery stuff, all sorts of things. But anyway, 50 bucks plus tax. And Blush is in general really, really underrated. Uh, if you are in a pinch, um, use a foundation and then just add blush and leave the house. Literally, that's all you need to do. And a lot of people forget about blush, but blush really, really can make you look more youthful, perky, fresh in a pinch. But the price, it is what it is. I can also tell you though that 50 bucks, okay. I use this almost on a daily basis. And yeah, technically does says after you open it, it's kind of valid for 18 months. There's a little kind of box jar with a lid open. And then there's a number inside that usually indicates how long the product is still usable after you've opened it the first time. But I never personally, you do you, I'm not here to give you any, I'm not a doctor. I cannot give you tips on, and I'm not a pharmacist either. But as I'm just telling you what I do, if it's a powder product, I don't really care. You know, as long as it works for me, I'm fine. But what I'm telling you also is that I've been using this for now, what, over two years, right? Almost three years now. And there's still a ton of product in here and I use it all the time. So this is a lot of product. When you buy this 50 bucks, like you're going to have this for years. I'm telling you from experience. It is double baked, so it tends to become kind of cakey. Then you got to kind of scratch off the surface to act reactivate it. That's a whole other can of worms. But um, anyway, loves it, has it, would recommend it. Next. The next one is also a $50 product. Another blush. Also, I have it. Love it. This is light peach, but I have here light pink. Uh, it is a liquid blush from the Le Beige collection. This is great for going out. This one is easier to apply than the powder blush. I like both. However, be warned, um, this one you're going to empty pretty soon. 
You see, that's the difference between the two. The one I showed you before is going to last you longer. That's the pro side. It's going to last you several years. Uh, and it's also powder, so it's not going to go bad as easily. This is liquid. It, it doesn't really have an expiry date because it's sealed, closed. So it doesn't have that kind of open little box with a number of months that this is still valid after you open it because it's kind of hermetically sealed in there. You can't, it doesn't access, you don't touch it. You know, oxygen doesn't touch it in a way like, well, it does, but you know what I mean? But you're going to go through this much quicker. So this is kind of, this is going to end up costing you more. Like you're paying more per wear for this one than you are for this one. Just letting you know. But they're bo both 50. This one is much easier to apply. You can use your fingers and just, and you're done. Next. This is adorable. I have it here. It is the blush brush from Chanel. The reference is 110 right there. Here it is. I have been also using this one for many years. Um, <laughs> mine has the color of all the powder I have on it. Smells also divine because it still has the blush scent on it. But uh, blush, blush, blush. Love it to bits. Is it expensive? Mm. Yeah, I think $50 for a brush like this, you can definitely get it cheaper from other brands. But this is Chanel. Uh, for some reason, they show this image with the code of the brush. It says blush number 110. But if you flip it, it has the Chanel logo on the front. So just in case you want to gift this, it 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 is it is branded. You know what I mean on one end. So you kind of, and it does come in a beautiful black box with a golden bottom line. So it's a classic old school Chanel vibe. This one is made in France or in Japan. Uh, this particular brush, I think, in France. And it does come with a little pouch, little kind of protection sleeve that also has a double C logo on it. So this is how you get it in that box. So it is a beautiful gift. These are not natural bristles or whatever you want to call them. These are synthetic, just letting you guys know. So if you have it already, if you already have everything, this is that little extra special thing on top. So it's a beautiful gift, actually. This brush is really, really cool. I love it. So 50 bucks, worth it in the Chanel realm. Oh, they're made in Japan? Okay, Zach just said in the chat, he checked his box, they're made in Japan. Uh, there are brushes that are much better for less. Yes, Corey said it in the chats for sure. But we're not buying Chanel because it's the best. We're buying it because we're victims. <laughs> All of it, you know what I mean? Because we are that poor aspirational client that wants something cheap with a logo. Okay, moving on to the next. So now we're getting into the cheaper section. Look at that. $3 less. We're now at $47. For $47, bucks, you get the Bomb Essential multi-use glow stick. You can use this as a blush. You can use it as a highlighter. You can use it on the eyes. You can use it on the lips. You can use it on the cheeks. This is really, really great. So there's the sculpting version. I have two in my collection. I have a, a, exactly this one, the sculpting. Then there's a more wet looking one called transparent. And then every year they come out with a limited edition version. Last year, well, no, this year in spring, they came out with a lilac color called Lila, which I love to utilize sometimes on my cheek, but mostly on my lips. In fact, I have it on today. Let me freshen them up a little bit, just on the Cupid's bow. And here at the bottom gives you that extra, extra kind of pinky shine. This is really, really cool. It's kind of a cool, cool pink color. But the sculpting version is literally to give you glow and shine in areas of the face, just to give you more of a dewy look. A lot of makeup artists swear by, in particular, the sculpting and even more so the transparent stick. For 47 bucks, this is a huge product. Uh, it's very thick and it's very, very big. You get a lot. You get eight gram of it. And this thing is going to last you quite a while. It's something that a lot of people that are not professionally in makeup overlook very easily. But this thing can help revitalize the look very, very quickly. Beautiful metal container. You just throw it in your bag and you're good to go to freshen up throughout the day as well. 47 bucks. Let me show you the next product. 
$45. Now we're $2 even cheaper. Of course, I cannot live without my miroir double facettes, whatever, the, the mirror duo. One um, is the regular mirror. The other mirror is a magnifying mirror. And yes, you know, I have them in all colors. Chanel started in 2023 releasing these mirrors finally in other colors than just black. I'm showing you here the black one because the black one is always available all year round. The double C logo on it is going to be white. The plastic container will be black and the mirrors, it's a really good quality mirror. As of late, these are made in Malta. They used to be made in France. They're made in Malta now. I don't know if they're gonna change them up again. So they released in 2023, nine colorways to match nine of their nail polishes. So this is called Ballerina, this shade of pink, and they do have a nail polish in the Ballerina color as well. Here's a little Easter egg for you, whoever made it this far. Thumb up the video, but also a little birdie from Chanel told me that they indeed will be releasing in 2024 a new collection of mirrors in new colorways. So it's going to be the same... It looks like a little um, computer, you know what I mean? It's like... Actually, um, if you turn it around like this, it's much more like a computer. Look at this. It's like a laptop. Um, and they will be releasing new colorways in 2024, I've been told. Allegedly. So get ready. Because a lot of you have been writing me after the Color Codes collection was launched. Like, oh, Jacob, I missed out. I missed out. You've been warned. At least half a year in advance, you've been warned by me. They're coming back again in new colorways. Don't sleep on this. The colored ones cost the same as the black one. So 45 bucks for their carryover black one. And all the other colorways are also $45. Um, they are currently sold out on the website in the other colorways. But sometimes they restock, I've been told. A couple of people were lucky and they found them. Um... So, Jesus says, you get so much use out of these mirrors. I literally use it several times a day, every day. Exactly, Jesus. Me too. I always have it with me. My favorite two colorways that I use all the time is the Ovni yellow and the, and the pink, the ballerina pink. I adore them. Uh, and this is not a cosmetic product like a powder. You're not going to use it up. This is an accessory you're going to have your whole life if you take good care of it. You know what I mean? So it's definitely worth the money, even at this new price. I hope, I can only hope that this mirror stays under $50 by the time we do this video again next year. If we do it again next year, you know, God willing. And next, uh, let me show you, uh, are we going down in price? Yes, we are. We're going down another $3. We're getting cheaper up in here. This is the retractable dual-ended eyeshadow brush number 200. I swear by this one. Yeah, I call it my double-edged uh, lightsaber. Yes, I do own it. It also has that little Chanel logo on it in case you want to gift this baby. You can show off and say, look, I bought you a Chanel brush. And yes, it has this lightsaber moment, retractable two sides, and then there you go. One of the two brushes is shorter, the other one is longer. The longer one is for blending, and the shorter one is for application, but you can do whatever you want. You can blend with the shorter one, you can apply with the longer one, do whatever makes you feel more comfortable. This is also synthetic, synthetic bristles. Uh, the body is metal. This one is also made in Japan. And yes, these little sides are retractable to protect the brush when you put the lid back on. The lid is also in metal. They're not cheap. You know what I mean? They're made in metal. It's a good feel. There's a good heft to these. So you extract this, you then put the lid on, and then you push it back in. This way, your bristles do not get damaged by them getting pinched by the lid. Yes, on the tip of the lid, you have the double C on both sides. I use this every day. I used it to apply my makeup on my eyes today. I also used this not just for their quads and eye powder makeup, but I also use this to brush out and apply their eye pencil. 
and eyeliners, whatever whatever you want. But this this brush is really really good. So that's a forty two dollar thing. Um, love it. Next. Okay, Le Volume de Chanel, the waterproof mascara. They have several mascaras. Some cost more, some cost less. This is kind of that mid to cheaper range. Thirty eight dollars. We are under. $40. We are officially under the $40 now. Now we're in the $30 range. And yes, I also have this product. Here it is. I have it on today. Uh, I applied it on today. We can actually reapply. The cool thing is if you want to make it look even thicker, you can literally, once it's dried up, you can just go over it again and it just starts looking thicker and thicker with every new application. My, I cannot even keep my eyes open at this point because I have so much mascara on them. Mm, I love it. Love the waterproof one. You can also get it non-waterproof. They have a non-waterproof version. Um, they cost the same. The non-waterproof one costs the same as the waterproof one. 38 bucks. This is the one that I use. I also use the non-waterproof, but currently I'm using the waterproof one and I really like it. I enjoy it a lot. So that's the one I would recommend. $38. This is the black shade. You see they got two shades available. I think there's like a brownie shade, a little bit less, like a tone or two lighter than just black. But uh, yeah. That's, there you go, 38 bucks. What's next on the list? Okay. Style Ombre de Contour. I swear by this stuff. A lot of people look over this like they don't care. This is amazing. The same like the blush. If you're in a pinch, this is all you need. These are the two colors that I have. This one that I'm showing you here, it is the Contour Clair, number 12. And then I also have the 06, which is Nude Eclat. And uh, this is great for the eyes. You can kind of also use them a little bit on the cheeks if you want. Also as a highlighter, I wouldn't really recommend, but on the eyes, this is an eyeshadow. So I can apply the, so if you have no makeup on, just apply this one here and then just with the fingers, smudge it out. You're going to create a beautiful shadow. You're going to create that effect as if the eye was a little bit more in inside. You know what I mean? Less puffy. Here is the Nude Eclat. And I'm going to apply it quickly because I forgot to do it before I did this, before I started this video. I'm going to apply it just in the center to add a little bit more light to my eye here. Not in the center, sorry. I mean, at the edge of my eye. These do have a tendency of breaking easily. Be careful. Especially the metallics. So... There's a lot of lights in here. You might not see it, but that pearlescence of the Nude Eclat is beautiful. It's subtle. It's like a makeup, non-makeup look. It just makes you look fresher. Uh, but because it does have little metallic particles in there, this one can break. So you got to be very, very careful, careful how you apply it. The Clair color, it's not metallic at all. So this one is much more creamy, you know? So this one doesn't dry out and break that easily. Uh, but this one is, is gorgeous. I love it. Love it to bits. And in fact, it's I, I've, I've had my difficulties finding this. Usually, you know, some people buy it. They're kind of realizing more and more and more how good it is. So it's often sold out. Interesting. Chanel, unfortunately, has outpriced themselves from the powder and foundation. So there is no more Chanel powder, liquid, compact or loose under 50 bucks or for 50 bucks. Everything is above $50. So we cannot get a foundation from Chanel for $50 or less. We cannot get a powder from Chanel for $50 or less, like the loose powder that I use. No longer. Unfortunately, we, we don't have a, a base. <laughs> Chanel is not offering us a base for 50 bucks or less. So that's a very big negative side uh, to our makeup look here because with all of these things you can have a full look but you're missing the Chanel foundation or powder. Next. Okay. Hear me out on this one. I, I do have um, Le Beige, the Healthy Glow Lip Balm. Not right here, right now. 
But truth be told, I really wanted a lipstick in this gift selection. 15 products under or for $50. $50 or cheaper. But I gotta be honest with you. I would not recommend buying Chanel lipstick unless you're not going for the extra, which is super expensive, or even more expensive, the 31 Rue Cambon. This thing is $200, so forget about it. So what are we even talking about? Unless you can't afford this, forget about it. Now, the only, the only kind of okay-ish lipstick, which is not really a lipstick, it's a balm, but it does color. It, it comes in five different shades is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Lip Balm. And I'm saying this because all their other lipsticks, for me personally, they dry my lips out. It is, it is just vile. Vile. Just my humble opinion. Um, vile. Um, I do have, because I love Rouge Noir, you know, their um, famous color. I do have the Rouge Noir Lippy here from the Allure, Rouge Allure collection with the magnet. But even this thing, I adore it, okay? But if you just put this on your lips, it's, it dries my lips out like crazy. So, no. Chanel, no. I would not recommend buying Chanel lipstick. Here, I said it. I have a ton of their lipsticks. They all dry me out. The only ones that don't is the Extra, but the Extra is so pigmented. I don't like using it. And then the 31 Roucambon lipsticks. But the 31 Roucambon lipsticks, like I said, 200 bucks for the full one and a refill is around $100. So forget about it. So I would say get a lipstick from somewhere else. But if you really want a lippy at Chanel for under 50 bucks, this is the way to go. This is the one that kind of the least drying of all of them. And that would be Le Beige Healthy Glow Lip Balm. We're keeping it mighty real. Mighty real on my channel. Get used to it and thumb up the video. Next, $36. Let's see what the next price is. Oh, we went down a dollar. $35. I have the blotting papers. Uh, these are made in Japan. You can also buy the refills, these little paperlets. You kind of just put them to your face to absorb extra sebum, excess of talcum, of fat, in other words. Um, and I think it has 100 pages in there. And yes, the pages are branded Chanel. Very fancy. The little thing, it kind of closes similar to the mirrors. However, it is not in plastic. It is kind of in a... It's not in hard plastic. It's made in um, soft, glued kind of material. I mean, as oily as I am, I could go through these in a day. So this makes no sense for me. But if you're not that oily and you just need a little bit of a touch-up during the day, this is really cute. It's a great gift. Because it's super branded. You know what I mean? Yes, when you close the thing, it's, it spells out Chanel. This is a big mirror, by the way. It's a big mirror. And when you close it on the other side, it spells out Chanel. So it's a beautiful gift. It's like literally something you would never buy for yourself. You know what I mean? But it's really, really cute to get it as a gift. You know what I mean? So um, this is a great gift idea. But the mirror is the best gift idea. $45 best gift idea from Chanel. But anyway, we're going to go cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Next. This was $35. The next one is also $35. This is basically all you can get from from their perfumes. At this point, yes, there was also the option of getting the Chanel Number no. 5 deodorant for $50 or a little bit less, but I, uh, to be honest with you, I would not recommend you getting Chanel spray deodorants. I think they're vile. I love the Pomocio stick deodorant, uh, but that one isn't available in all countries. Yes, the stick deodorant from Pomocio is under $50, so technically I could have put it in the list, but I decided not to because then people write like they are, it's not available in my country. So soap, Chanel number no. five soap. This one is available everywhere. And uh, and I would not recommend getting Coco Mademoiselle soap because they've reduced the size but kept the price. So Chanel number no. five is the only one that's still available in its original size, not smaller for the same amount of money. So you get for $35, 5.3 ounces, which is um, 
150 gram. Now, from time to time, and by the way, I would not recommend washing your hands with this. This is a wonderful gift to perfume your wardrobe. Yes, or your whatever, drawers in, in your office space, what have you. I have here a wonderful example of one of their soaps that they released, oh gosh, over 10 years ago. Uh, this one is even bigger. This is 200 gram. Now, I'm showing you this because it's also a pebble like this one, but this one was a special edition uh, that came in with a tray. It came with a tray. So now if you buy this soap, you're not going to get a tray. It's going to come wrapped in a foil with the Chanel sticker on it, and that's that. But from time to time, they release, they release special editions. This one was called La Collection Seduction, the Seduction Collection. And you did get a 200 gram soap on this little plexiglass tray. It's all sticky because of the sticker underneath. So it did come like this. And yeah, you do have the Chanel logo there, which is really hard to see in this transparency. Yeah, you do see it. Of course, it spells out Chanel only on one side, not on two sides. The smell is to die for. And I would not recommend taking it out of its foil. Leave it in the foliage. See, this is the sticker I was talking to you. It's underneath the foil. So this soap is wrapped in foil. And uh, put it in your wardrobe in between clothes. Everything is going to smell so fresh and beautifully clean. And it's going to last you a decade or two, really, you know, before it kind of starts drying out and not smelling anymore. So this is a great, great bang for your buck. Great gift. Just explain to the person you're gifting it to, hey, don't use this as a soap. Um, I'm going to clean this up before I put it back in. Don't use it as a soap. Use it as a clothing freshener. Then it really makes sense. Then it's really worth the money. It's It dries out my skin personally. I, I do not like to use this on my skin. It really dries me out like crazy. This is not a good body soap either, in my humble opinion. This is made to perfume your clothes and make them smell divine. That's for what this is good for. 35 bucks. Next, I think we're going down in price for the next product on my list. We're down to product number 12. $32. Love this. However, of course, you can get a pen, an intense eye pencil. You can get one for like $2 from another brand. So it doesn't have to be Chanel. But we're talking about gifts. Okay, so we're gifting something special with a with a logo on it with the name right and i do have it and i do love it and i actually use it to always create this kind of fake marilyn monroe shadow that she used to do i do it a little bit more punk than marilyn you wouldn't notice that marilyn has makeup on in that spot but it's an illusion that i create with this pencil as if when i close my eyes more as if the upper lashes cast a shadow underneath and that's this kind of extended line that i draw right there and also on the other side with this pencil. You can, of course, also draw above the eye in in the, the tear duct area here, whatever it's called, and then you can also smudge it out. You can create your grunge 90s look with, these, with this as well. Um, technically, Chanel, all of their eye quads and eye powder makeup, they're all over $50, so they're not on this list, but you can use this instead. And it does come in several shades, depending the country you're in. In America, at the moment, you got four shades available on the Chanel website. But sometimes they do have other shades as well. And they also get seasonal limited edition shades. So you can play with colors while you're playing with these intense eye pencils. And they are cool. They also come, when you purchase the pencil, in included in the $32 is also the uh, pencil, the eye pencil sharpener. And yes, it does have a Chanel logo on it as well. <laughs> so you do get a little branded, there you go. You get a little pencil sharpener uh, to go with it. So these come in a set. You get the two for $32. Okay, just, you know, other brands give you two of these as well <laughs> for $5. This is way overpriced, but it's Chanel and it's under 50 bucks. What can I tell you? You know, for the aspirational client, we're going cheap for the Paul. Yes, saying this on purpose to be 
provocatory in some way, shape or form. Yes. Let's check out the 13. We got 15 to go through. We're going down and down and down in price. We started at 50. Now we're at 32. Thumb up this video if you're enjoying it and subscribe. Let's get to number 13. How much will 13 cost? Also $32. Of course, I had to include my favorite nail polish. Now, their nail polishes suck, in my opinion. They chip immediately. What can I tell you? But I love my Rouge Noir. There it is. This is the pre-reformulated era Rouge Noir that I have here. Love the color. Boy, this is drying out already. Anyway, uh, there you go. We'll go, we'll go. That's the Rouge Noir for $32. It is a classic Chanel color. That, you know, vamp, vampire blood red. Also looks like the interior of the 255 bag. So there's a lot of history behind this particular color. Sure, it came out in the 90s. It's not like this color existed when Coco Chanel was alive, but it's very Coco. Very, very Coco. Very symbolic of Chanel. And some people do say that they love the way that Chanel nail polish chips. It has a grunge vibe to it when it starts chipping. We'll go, we'll go. Uh, personally, you know. <laughs> also, kind of dangerous if you don't put a top coat on this one. Um and you kind of have it on your nails and then you go over toys or whatever. It, it, you can kind of, if you scratch with your nail, you will leave a trace of color on plastics. So that's another kind of thing about, you know, this nail polish that's very iffy. But of all the Chanel nail polish colors, if you really want the symbolic Chanel nail polish color, it's going to be Rouge Noir, the black red. That's the and you know what I mean. If you want to gift something from Chanel, but you're on a budget and you want it to be symbolic, and you don't even have the forty bucks, but you're in the thirty dollar range, so you don't have the forty five bucks for the mirror, which this would be my first choice always. Then I would go for this, this symbolic little moment. So it does come with this double C lid. You do take this off, and then you got another double C moment there. Then you unscrew this, and then you apply. I know it's a silly thing, but they think that this is more practical to hold while you're applying. And this extra lid makes it more aesthetical the way that the whole bottle looks like. And it is really beautiful to see. That's that. Number 14 on our list from $32. Let's see what's next. We're down to $30. Another two. Look how Chanel has priced everything See what they did there? $50, 47, 45, 42, 40, 38. They're really milking us. You know what I mean? Going down two bucks here, two bucks there. Love this piece. The current one, which I have, is made in Japan. Okay? Um, I think these are also made in France sometimes. And yes, I don't know if you can see on the screen here, it does say Chanel there, and it's not printed. It's literally pressed into, uh, it's etched into the metal. So it's a bougie, very expensive little eyelash curler. But uh, as you can see here, that there, you see that Chanel logo right there? So it's, it's an IYKYK moment. You know, you curve them. The, eyel the eyelash curler, but uh, it it's, you know what I mean, it's a little torture contraption device, but uh, it does its job and it's branded and it comes in a beautiful black Chanel box, you know, with the gold trim underneath. So it's a great little, it's metal, okay. Uh, and they do give you a few of these little rubber pads underneath to exchange, you know, to swap once this one is used up a little bit. So it's a $30 thing with the Chanel logo, cute little gift. You know what I mean? You could actually combine, you know, get the mirror in black and this little curler. It's, you know, like if you don't want to get the makeup and you really want to get objects that are going to last longer, you know, you can get the brush, the mirror and this, and it's kind of a really cool combo. Yeah, the three together are way over 50 bucks, I know, but individually they're all 50 or less. The brush is 50, mirror is 45, curler is 30. And, can we go any cheaper than this? We're down to our last gift idea at Chanel for 2023 for $50 or less. What do you guys think? 
is our next price going to be? Uh, for the 15th product that I suggest to you, also the last but not least, it is the cheapest though. Uh, Artie's opinion, you guessed it my love, Artie in the chats guessed it. Yeah, let me show it to you. Already said the cotton, uh, the extra soft cotton pads, you get 100 pieces, $25. This is literally the cheapest you can get at Chanel. These are beautiful, though. Just to be very clear, yeah, it's a waste. Of course, it's a waste. Cotton, it's, it's, we should avoid buying cotton. Cotton creates so much waste. It wastes so much water, blah, 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 blah. Sure. However, Luxury is waste for the most part. Not always, but sometimes. These cotton pads are ginormous. I mean, we're talking each one of them is like this big, beautiful rectangular. Each one of them is branded with a, you know, pressed in Chanel logo. This box is literally this big. I don't own one at the moment, not because I don't want to own one, but because every time I go to my beauty boutique, this little baby is sold out. You got to be really lucky because they get only a few in and a lot of people love these uh, and currently available on the website in the U.S. at least. But anyway, so $25, the box is this big. It's really substantial and you get a ton of these and they're really beautiful to see. This is luxury. It's so unnecessary. This is such an unnecessary product. And Technically not something you would buy yourself, but it's kind of really bougie to receive it as a gift. You know what I mean? It's special to get this as a gift. Humble opinion. Okay, call me Kreskin. 25 bucks, ginormous Chanel cotton pads. I try to avoid personally cotton pads in general. I would buy these just for my collection because they're so beautiful to see. I try to just with oil, massage, makeup remover oils from other brands with my fingers because cotton can rub the skin in a weird way. So I just do it with my fingers, wash it off with water. Then I use other products to other detergents, whatever products to wash my makeup off. So I personally don't use D makeup, makeup remover pads, but uh, it's a beautiful object. There you have it. That would be our 2023 rundown. The cheapest gifts Chanel has to offer for us to purchase for us or our loved ones, us poor aspirational clients. You're welcome, Bruno Pavlovsky. You're welcome. Let me know your thoughts and prayers down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, do thumb it up. Love you loads. Subscribe. And until next gifting, <laughs> never give up on love. Bye.